Hey, what's up everybody? Star Factor 5 here. And, uh, yep, that's it. That's right. I decided to upload another video. No, I ain't dead. No, I ain't get kidnapped by no aliens. No, nothing. <laughs> now, I've just been, uh, busy and kind of lazy on, uh, uploading videos. But today, I just wanted to bring you guys a really quick video just, um, detailing my thoughts on, um, you know, the, the hot topic of the gaming world and technology world today. And that's the Oculus Rift and Project Morpheus VR headsets. Now I just wanted to bring you guys my thoughts of what I think about the Oculus and the, these VR headsets. So, you know, basically a lot of people are saying it's just going to be a gimmick that's just going to die out pretty soon. Not, you know, kind of like how 3D TVs were. I never felt like buying a 3D TV. I never saw a point. But to me, like personally, I really do think the, uh, these VR headsets might actually take off a little bit and actually be pretty uh, fun new ways to play video games. No, I don't think it's not going to get to the point where it's going to be like, you know, they're going to replace uh, regular gaming with a controller, a mouse, and keyboard. No, that'll always be like the regular, you know, normal way of playing video games. Uh, I think um, these virtual reality headsets will also be like, you know, have their own little niche and have to where, you know, you can, there's a, a yet another way you can play a video game if you don't want to, you know, always hold the controller in your hand or something like that. I, I, I really don't see, you know, I think of it, I really don't see the Oculus taking the uh, VR headsets, you know, replacing traditional ways of playing games. It's not going to be to the point where it's like, hey man, you got that Project Morpheus uh, Oculus Rift VR headset? Nah man, not yet. What are you doing, son? Because the Oculus Rift and virtual heads are the def definitive way to play video games here in the 2014 space or you know whenever they come out it's not it's not going to get to that point you know there, there will always be you know just regular gaming with a you know regular controller or a mouse and keyboard however you know i really think like the main success really depends on for the like, these VR headsets if they want to be successful really depends on you know the developers and like the type of games they could create using the technology of the oculus rift or the project morpheus i mean you know despite not many developers want to even work with Oculus anymore since the whole Facebook bottom thing, I still don't really see the reason or the point why Facebook uh, bought Oculus, but eh, whatever, I don't feel like devil into it, but basically, you know, the the way I think these headsets are going to succeed, you know, is just based off the games the developers can make for you. I mean, I, you can just sit here and, you know, there's people that have, like, tried the Oculus and they say it's really good technology and it's really f fun and intuitive and all sorts of things like I've never tried it myself but you know just from going off from what people say about it, say the Oculus at least is actually really good and um, Sony will probably show more of their Project Morpheus at E3 so we'll probably see more of that but basically you know just whatever the type of games the developers can make I mean I mean like I myself am like getting tired of first person shooters but I honestly think a well crafted well really good FPS on the Oculus Rift of the Project Morpheus but actually be a really fun experience um, for virtual reality headsets. I mean, imagine, I mean, it'd be pretty cool, you know, I have the Oculus on your head, probably have like a little, you know, fake plastic gun, you can like walk around and shoot stuff with and lean around corners and be like, the fuck's that? <laughs> but no, no, really, uh, I think it'd be pre a pretty cool experience, you know, just depending on the type of games, you can just imagine, you know, what type of games would be possible, or what games would be a lot of fun with the Oculus. Like, I remember reading this uh, one article that I thought was pretty interesting about a guy that, um, I think it was on the Project Morpheus because he uh, got to play Infamous with it. He would like, he could like move the camera and in Infamous Second Son around with just, with just his eyes. Like, all he had to do was just like look around with his eyes and he could control the camera. He still had to use the, the left stick on the controller to control Delson, but you know, he he, all, he didn't even he never had to like touch the the analog stick for the camera. He could just like look around. He want and when he wanted to shoot somebody, you know, he just looked at him and pushed the uh, trigger and you know he just shoot at him. So that that's pretty uh, cool, little, uh, neat thing about the Project Morpheus and you know just the developers expanding on that and building just you know whatever types of games that would fit perfectly for the Oculus. It would actually be fun, but. 
that's basically just my thoughts on what I think about the Oculus Rift. Pretty much, I think, you know, it's, it's not going to take off to where it'll take over, it'll completely take over the traditional way of controller, mouse, and keyboard gaming. It's not going to get that popular, no. But, you know, I think it might have its own little, like, little following or fan base enough to where, you know, it'll be like a nice alternative to gaming that, you know, you could try if you wanted to. But, you know, it, but, you know some people are saying, oh, it's going to be a flop instantly, it's going to take off, it's going to be this, it's that. I think, you know, it has the potential, it's just, you know, what the developers do with it, and the games they make, and how the games themselves play, and how, you know, the consumers you know, react to how they like it or not. I think, but I think the VR headsets have some potential to where, you know, they might be a good, you know, alternative to just something extra to play, you know, if you, know, if you ever wanted to try it out to the experience, because me personally, I, I, I would try the Oculus or the Project Morpheus, you know, if the games in, on it that they make for it are fun and they're good and actually like a really good immersion of virtual reality, yeah, I'll try it. I mean, you know, it, I mean, the technology we have nowadays for it, it should, it should be a lot better than back in the day when it was, when like, what, I think the 80s or whatever is when they really tried with VR headsets and all that, and it didn't really work. I mean, it, we, it, it can't, I mean, even if it does flop, it, it, I'm pretty sure it won't be as bad as uh, VR flop back then, because those things were like gigantic helmets that were like this big, that fit on your head. And you know, and then Nintendo came out with the freaking the the Virtual Boy. We all know how much of a disaster that thing was. I mean, imagine just like sitting out there in the field or just somewhere playing with that thing, with that fucking thing on your head, that big ass red brick just sitting there resting on your face. Like, no, that that would be terrible. But yeah, you know, they're actually from the looks of it, the the headsets are actually a fairly good size. They really only cover just like you know about this much of your face and your eyes. They don't cover your whole entire head. So you know they've they've got that down. I mean, you know, that's a good enough start already. But um, you know, basically that's just my thoughts on what I think about the virtual reality headsets. Yeah, they have potential. It just depends on the developers and how everything else with the technology and, and all that goes. It's not going to get as popular to take over just regular gaming with controller and mouse and keyboard. It's not going to get to that uh, point. It's, it's not going to be that popular. But it would be a nice little thing, you know, to have as an addition to, you know, regular gaming means. But um, I think that's about it. I'm still at 35 and I'm out. Please don't forget to rating, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter because the link to that is down in the description below. Also, you know, if you want, feel free to leave a comment about what you guys think about the virtual reality headsets. Do you think they'll be an instant flop? Do you think they're going to have a chance to, you know, shine and show people, you know, they're not as bad as some people think they are? But um, also, I, I, I wasn't even thinking about it, when I, but um, I got Infamous Second Son the day it came out, but I just, the, I, the, that play, the PlayStation 4 was so dry, I didn't even think about doing an unboxing, so I just like ripped that junk over and started playing, but um, I have the code for the Cole's Legacy DLC, and I think I might do a playthrough on that, so I'll probably upload a video of that sooner or later, but um, other than that, you know, like I said, leave some comments on what you guys think about the virtual variety headsets. But uh, I'm Star Thurfop and I'm out. Peace.